in this video what I want to talk about, and I'm going to try to make it short, sweet, to the point, is uh, what I did to my trickle charger here. This is a Hornaday brand um, trickle charger uh, that I'm going to start using for a few rounds just for the heck of it. Uh, I've got some stuff I want to try, but the problem with this thing is it only weighed about 518 grains uh, you know, from the factory. Made it very difficult to sit here and turn this thing without it just sliding all over the place. It was really, really uh, not pleasant to use. So what I did was, man, let me find that. What I did was, uh, took some shot shell uh, lead that I have here from my shot shell reloading, and I filled the cavity in the bottom of this and uh, measured, you know, filled it to where I wanted it to be, dumped it out in a sacrificial plastic cup. Then I mixed up some epoxy. Uh, the stuff that I bought was, uh, I got this from Walmart. Lowe's sells the same stuff. Uh, it claims that it's good for plastic. Uh, it's just a five minute epoxy uh, glue. And uh, I then refilled from my sacrificial cup here. I'll just throw this away. It's had lead in it. And filled it up to about here uh, with loose lead. Then I mixed up some epoxy in this cup um, here with a just a popsicle stick, craft stick, and then mixed in the remaining lead. So I wound up with a gooey mess of lead shot, and then I put that on top of the loose shot to lock it into place. Now, it says the epoxy package uh, claims it's good for plastic. I wasn't sure if it would stick to a slick plastic surface like this, especially through um, thermal cycles as it gets a little warmer, a little cooler, whatever. I didn't want it to separate from the plastic and fall out as a lump of, uh, of lead with also a bunch of loose behind it. So what I did was, I drilled holes uh, around the sides of this. Um, I did four of them, and I drilled them for some round toothpicks that I had. I cut the toothpicks in half, and I shoved the pointy end in, leaving some sticking out. Didn't really matter. All it's going to do is, once the glue has set, which it has now, I did this uh, last night, uh, I'm able then to come along and trim them off, and hopefully this will show up, that I've actually trimmed one of the toothpicks off. I'll do that with the remaining three. So it'll look, eh, you know, it doesn't have to be terribly decorative, but I don't want it to look like Frankenstein's monster with stuff sticking out. Now with this lead in here, uh, this thing weighs, I'm guessing, unfortunately it's way more weight than my powder measure can handle. Uh, this should be uh, probably a good for a pound or so. I'll have to throw it on my wife's uh, postal scale, which won't be as precise as something like this, but it'll handle the weight. But I'd say it's good for a pound or so. The last thing that I'll do, though, to, to really rock this thing up so it'll sit still and steady for me is uh, a friend of mine is in the promotional products business and gets things like this, countermats. You'll see things like this in parts stores. Um, you know, they throw them on the counter, you come in with your greasy, nasty auto parts and whatever. And plus, and then not only does it protect the counter, it advertises something. Well, anyway, he gets these as, hey, why don't you buy our countermats type stuff? So I get these for, for free from him. So what I will do is I will cut a circle uh, out of this material that matches fairly closely. It's not gonna be perfect. This uh, base here, glue that on, and that's going to give me a nice foam anti-skid base to this thing because even now it can still slide around fairly easily. Once I have put that on there, it's going to get a little, and it's not going to show up very well um, to prove it, but it'll get a little more grabby, a little more grippy, and I have several to choose from. These are just, uh, well, here's three, and I'll choose whichever one seems like it's the grippiest. And that's what I did uh, because, like I said, this thing is so light from the factory that it moves around so much. It was really uh, not very pleasant to use. It was not easy to use um, because even just grabbing a little bit would uh, lightly, it would cause it to wiggle around. So anyway, there's a, a thought, an idea, maybe a tip that you might find useful. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, everyone.